Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you how to install Fast Boot and ADB on your Mac, no matter what version Mac you're running. Using this method, you're guaranteed to always have the latest version of Fast Boot and ADB. And of course, as you may or may not know, Fast Boot and ADB are command line utilities that allow you to manipulate your Android smartphone for the purposes of routing, unlocking, flashing ROMs sending and receiving files and much more so let's dive in and set this thing up all right so the first step is to actually head to developer.android.com and then you'll see this website and when you see this website we're not going to get the android studio for this process what we're going to do is click download options right here on the bottom corner on the right side and then that's going to take us to this uh, area here. And of course, you're not going to download this either. The only thing that we need to run Fastboot and ADB is the command line tools. So if you scroll down, you'll see get just the command line tools. And obviously, this is a Mac. So when you download it, make sure you click the one that is next to Mac. Once you click this, it's going to uh, ask you to accept the terms once you do this it's going to download the command line tools now even though it says zip file over here if you look over here it says zip file when you download this it's just going to be a straight up folder and i'm going to show you what you need to do within that folder all right so once the download is complete all you're going to see in your downloads folder is going to be this folder and it's going to be titled tools okay so you don't have to extract this file like i said even though it says zip over here. So we can exit the website, and then I recommend that you move the tools folder to a folder that you're comfortable with. I'm just gonna put on the desktop right now to make things easier. So once you're done, just go into tools, and from here, what you wanna do is launch this Android application. So double click this guy, and what's gonna happen is this is going to load the Android SDK manager from where you can install packages. So the first step is to simply click deselect all and that's gonna deselect all the uh, options over here. And then what you wanna do is manually select Android SDK platform tools, which is the only package you need, which includes Fastboot and ADB. Once it is selected, simply click install one package and that's gonna take a couple seconds. Uh, make sure when you, when this window pops up, make sure you click over here where it says Android SDK Platform Tools and then accept the license. And then click Install and it's going to take a couple seconds and what it's going to do is it's going to install the Platform Tools folder into the same folder where you put the uh, Tools folder. So as you can see, my Tools folder was on the desktop. So when I clicked to install the package, it put two new files over here, the temporary file, which you do not need, and the platform tools file, which you do need. And of course, once you're done, just exit out of this, all these things over here. You don't need any of these guys. And then you can actually delete the temp and the tools folder. So you don't need these folders anymore. All you need is platform tools, because that is what includes uh, Fastboot, which is right over here, and ADB. And next, I'm going to show you how to access Fastboot and ADB so you can actually start running commands uh, for the purposes of flashing ROMs, recoveries, or just rooting. So let's dive into that. Now remember, the Fastboot and ADB are command line utilities. So the first thing we want to do is launch the command line. In this case, it is called Terminal. So let's go to search over here and type in Terminal. And that's going to bring our Terminal window. Just launch this guy. And then all you have to do over here is uh, to run Fastboot and ADB, you have to navigate the directory in which they are sitting, the folder in which, which they are sitting. So Platform Tools is the folder that Fastboot and ADB are residing in. So all you do on the terminal is type in CD, which means change directory, and then uh, drag and drop this folder over here. And that's going to simply copy and paste the path where this folder belongs. So what we're going to do is then type in CD space and drag and drop this over here and then press enter. Once you press enter, you are focused in this folder over here. So graphically speaking, I'm focused on this folder right here. But when you're talking about the command line tools, uh, you focus on it using these commands. So just by typing in the CD, and typing in the uh, user path, we were able to focus on, on that folder. And from here on, I can start to use ADB and fast boot commands. 
Now I currently have an Android phone plugged into my Mac computer using a USB cable. And also I have enabled USB debugging on my Android phone under developer options. That means I can start to run ADB commands. So with the, uh, with the Mac, all you have to do is put a dot and a slash and then you type in your commands. So once I put my dot and slash, I can type in ADB devices. Now, now this command confirms that a device, an Android device is attached to my Mac. So when I type in dot slash ADB devices and press enter, it's going to tell me list of devices attached, uh, some random number over here and device next to it. But this number indicates that my phone is connected to my computer. If I disconnect the phone, which I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna pull out the USB cable right now from my Mac, and I retype that command, it's gonna say list of devices attached, nothing. So that's how you confirm that your ADB is in fact online. Now, as you can see, I just reconnected my phone and reconfirmed that ADB is attached to my HTC. And the other thing you can do with the ADB commands is you can actually use the ADB commands to boot into the fast boot or download mode on your phone. So again, all you do is dot slash ADB reboot, and then you say boot loader, okay? So when I press enter, that's going to reboot my phone into the bootloader mode. Once I'm on the bootloader mode on my phone, I can actually use my phone to select the fast boot or the download mode, which I'm gonna do right now, because I also wanna show you guys what happens when I type in fast boot devices. So on my phone, using the volume keys, I manually selected the download mode. And now what I can do is I can run fast boot commands. So let's type in dot slash, same thing, fast boot devices. And that's going to confirm that I'm online in the fast boot process. And as you can see, it doesn't say list of devices attached as, as it says over here, but it gives me the same kind of number over here and it says fast boot. So I'm in fast boot over here. And again, if you want to restart your phone in the fast boot mode, all you do is dot slash fast boot reboot. And that's going to reboot your phone and it's going to send it back to your main screen from where you can log into your phone as usual. Now, one more thing I want to touch on is if you have any kind of recovery files, any super SU files, or anything that you want to send to your phone using these command line tools, make sure you just put everything into the platform tools. So this folder is going to be your central location to manage everything using Fastboot and ADB. You'll be running your commands from here, and you'll also be sending and receiving files from here. So like I said, if you have any super SU files, or if you have any recoveries that, such as TWRP or Clockwork Mod, you can place them right over here, and then you can run the appropriate commands and follow the appropriate steps for your particular device that you own. But that's basically all you need to know to run Fastboot and ADB on your Mac. Just make sure if you're gonna be running ADB commands, uh, developer options are enabled on your Android smartphone under developer settings. And if you're going to be running fast boot commands, make sure your phone is in fact in fast boot or download mode. All right, well, thank you for watching this video, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just drop them down below and make sure you subscribe to Saki Tech and I will see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day.